back with another process video. Today I am going to be using the Coco Vanilla's Wild at Heart collection. This layout that I did was for the paper issues. What's that called? Not challenge. Well, it was a challenge, but it was also, oh, their crop. Their online crop that they had, I think it was last weekend, maybe the weekend before last. And I blew through this entire collection. If I am ever going to purchase a collection again, it will be this one. Or Love and Adore. <laughs> I love both of those collections. This one, it was so nice. I think I still have some scraps and maybe one full sheet of paper. And I'm going to put that away and use it at a later time. So right here I went ahead and cut off some strips. I'm going to cut those strips into banners. I wasn't really sure what I was planning on doing with this. Like I said, it was for a challenge and I think it was the tic-tac-toe challenge and you had to use all these different things and I think there was like stitching, stamping, yes I stamped, not well either, um, stickers, chipboard, alphas which was silly because you always use alphas right I could be wrong about it being alphas I don't know there was a bunch of stuff you had to use or you could use so I did as many as I could I didn't do a blackout but I had a couple lines I didn't end up winning anything but it was still really fun so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch on these banners and right here I'm showing you what they look like. I also stitched around that white cardstock and this time it really is cardstock. It is not the back side of a paper out of a 12 by 12 paper pad. Right here I'm going to uh, arrange these banners how I think I might like and this does take me quite a bit of time. I can't really, I'm having a hard time making a decision. I am right here looking for a journaling card and I do go through three or four different journaling cards and in the end it's hilarious because the journaling card that I choose ends up getting covered up. It is that one right there that I just cut, that, cut out. I thought I might want to use this love cut out. In the end it does not end up making it. This is a chipboard butterfly and that does end up making it and it does end up going right there. I love the chipboard in this collection. Oh, and right here, look, I'm going through all these wood veneers. These wood veneers that I had purchased with the Coco Vanilla collection, they are so super cute, but they are so delicate. I broke every single one of them with my man hands. Every single one of them. <laughs> I had to piece back together. I don't end up using any of the words on this layout. I will later pull out some of the hearts. Right here I pull out a chipboard frame. Actually I went through two different versions of the frame. This one that's on there right now is the one that I end up using. Now I did get the chipboard frame pack and I don't remember how many that it came with but it seems like it came with 587. Don't quote me on that because I can't really say. I just know I have a ton left and I've also used a ton of them. This lovely right there is also from that chipboard sticker sheet. I am going to end up using that right where it's at. Here I'm trying to figure out, I wanted to use this piece of paper, but I didn't want to cut up any cards that I might want to use. So I went ahead and tried to figure out where I might want to... Uh, cut. That's why I was looking at the back side. Also, that was another journaling spot that didn't make it that watercolored one. Here I decided I have got to stick some stuff down. It keeps moving on me and I'm not really a fan of that. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to where my banners are going to go. Alright, so I'm committing to this. I don't know, you can see the photo kind of up there at the top. It is just a picture of a bird feeder. And in my journaling, I am going to be talking about my dad and how, I don't think I actually say this in my journaling, but seriously, when I was younger, I'm like, oh my God, my dad is so lame, right? He would get up really, really early, like at four o'clock in the morning. And in this journaling, I'm talking about how we're actually alike. Now, what does Becky do now? I get up at 4 a.m. 
actually my favorite time of the day is between the hours of 3.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. The, the world is still asleep. That is my favorite time of the day. And he would always get up really early, like I do now. And I always thought that was so lame. And then he would just sit there at the table and watch the birds in the bird feeder. He would just watch the birds. And I'm like, what is he doing? Yeah, I do that now too. And this is funny because I do these videos. So I do voiceovers, but really in real life, I don't talk that much and neither, neither did he. But sometimes if we do decide we're going to be chatterboxes, you can't shut us up. So that's what I'm talking about in this journaling is that as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that I am a lot more like him than I realized when I was younger. So here's where I am attempting to do the stamping. And I've already stamped in a couple spots that I did not care for. There's a big blob on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that up with a wood veneer. I'm going to stamp on this side. And also one of those hearts is going to get messed up. So I move this over the journaling card over just a little bit to cover up where it messed up. And I didn't like it. You saw I stamped, or stamped underneath where that lovely is. Right there, I was showing you I'm going to do journaling on this card. I don't actually handwrite it. I print it on a piece of the pattern paper and cut it into strips, which is why you can't even see that journaling card anymore. So these stickers that I am using there are the Rockabye, and they are kind of that canvas type that you can paint. I use that Kelly Perky ink to make those a navy blue. So placing this photo in the frame is going to take a little bit of maneuvering. The frame is not quite as thick. Or actually, the, th the frame is a little bit thicker than my foam tape, but not quite as thick as two layers. So it's you can't really tell, but it does kind of droop down a little bit into the frame. Maybe you can tell. I don't know. I like it. I ended up using double layers of foam tape on this side because that frame was just too thick for only one layer. Because this foam tape, it's not that thick. It just, it's just, just right, right? So I went ahead and put two layers down of the foam tape to keep it up over that frame. But that corner right there on the inside, I didn't put any foam tape under that. And I don't know. Maybe I should go back and just stick a couple pieces right underneath that. I can kind of see where it's leaning in, but I think once it's in the album and everything, you won't probably be even be able to notice it. Right there, I went ahead and put down that chipboard butterfly. I did use glossy accents on it to reinforce it, and this lovely chipboard I am putting up on foam tape. Um, I put the foam tape at the bottom because I had that banner there, and I know that banner is not super thick but with the stitching and stuff it kind of drooped a little bit and I didn't care for that so that's why I did that here I'm going to put this other sticker right there on that frame it says enjoy the little things and I do have to pop that up on foam tape as well and here I'm doing what I do I pop up the edges of my papers or banners with tape with the foam tape I like to do that. I think I say that in almost every video I use a banner on, right? So you all know by now, that's what I like to do. Here's the rest of my journaling that would not fit on the card. It was, um, I ended it with, uh, I was talking about how he likes to watch the birds, blah, blah, blah. And I said, it is so peaceful, dot, dot, dot. And then at the bottom it says, I t there's more dots. And it says, I totally get why he used to do that every day. Now that I'm old, and I like to do that too. <laughs> So right here, I'm trying to find another heart that I might want to put down in that spot so I'll have three hearts because those other two hearts are actually going to serve a purpose in covering up stamping that I didn't care for. This other heart is not. I am going to cut away here and I'm going to come back. My title is going to be down and I did use that Kelly Perky navy blue ink to turn those hearts navy blue. And that heart does move a little bit. It goes kind of over closer to that butterfly. I initially had it over on the other side. Right here is going to cover up where I didn't like that stamping. And then I am going to put this one right there to fill in that space between the, where underneath that M. I didn't care for that space. So I originally had that over there 
on one of the banners, but I moved it down there because that space was annoying me. I use this flare right here. It matches that butterfly up at the top. Then I just smeared some of that Kelly Perky navy blue ink onto my craft mat and I added water and I am spluttering it around the page. I did have a mishap with this too. It is right there. I didn't care for that big splatter on the side of my journaling. So I am going to remedy that. I pull out this sticker sheet looking for something that I could put over there to cover up that big splatter. I did find this little tab. It says memories. So I put it on there sideways. And then I am going to ink it up or ink it up. I'm going to pop it up on foam tape. Here I am just cutting some teeny tiny pieces off of that big old roll. I'm looking on here seeing if there's anything else I might want to use. I do pull out three word phrases. Um, precious to me, memories, and love is what I end up going with. So after I do that, I don't do anything else to this layout. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>